Or I'm saying. Healing, healing, healing. Yeah, throw fucking health packs. Res. 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 If you play Assault, you'll usually get about a third more points out of any engagement than you would before because of the heals and the reses. But if I do that, I don't have claymores. I don't think I like your faulty logic, you. Well, you know, I'm also not very good, so... That's the spirit. That's the egg I know. I just know the mechanics of it. Sixteen more kills and I can retire the AUG. Well, that's not bad for Dread having just picked it up, too. <laughs> yeah. That's the one thing people don't seem to get. Even if Yig doesn't have the reflexes of an adult preteen kid on uh, caffeine, he knows every goddamn thing about the game in and out. So, uh, Yig, 116 A4. Hey, angle grip, muzzle brake, and your side of choice. Why? Uh, because the penalty from muzzle brakes and compensators doesn't kick in until the fourth bullet. How the fuck do you even know things like that? Uh, wall tests and discussions with the developers. When are you having discussions with the developers? Um, in his usually two dungeon. or three times a week. Why? Um, I've been helping them with... I'm, I'm in, like, a weird Vector program Marian where Bale. you can... Where I play, like, all of the games that are getting ready to come out and try to help them make them better. Why is he you? It's all... You know, you, I'm shit. mega jealous for that. And, uh, it's most, some of the most hilarious shit you'll ever hear because you get to hear them shit talk like everybody. Especially YouTubers. Like, YouTubers are almost continually terrible about fucking, like, anything in the game. Oh, yeah, God, like, I tried to watch some BF4 YouTube channels, and, uh, Jesus, they are fucking idiots. Yeah, they're, they're, they're... They're campy. I've got them now to where they're starting to talk to like Ravik and a couple of the actual actual like pro players, and that's working out kind of nice. What, uh, remind me again, who's the pro player? Oh, that's that fucking. Um, oh God, he's on that fucking. He streams. He only plays TDM, and TV he five. only uses the fucking uh, the Scar Age. Because that has to be the most exciting way to play this game. Is it just me or like is the other team real bad right now? The other team's really bad. They're like, it's kind of cute how you we think Call of players. Duty is the is the one that we do have nine more players. Uh, but it does. They also exist in Battlefield. It is not. Oh yeah, we've got it. They've always well, even before they did. Still, yeah, people I mean, would rather go and do infantry combat in 1942 than they would anything else. Yeah, and that's These also people before have existed, exist, always exist, and will always exist. No, I mean, I'm saying No, they play Battlefield. They play whatever the fuck they want because it's not. It's not like the actual game type TDM stopped them from playing it like TDM. Well, they weren't playing TDM about it. Uh, Battlefield 2 introduced TDM. Uh, yeah, it did. It was patched in towards the end. Yeah, Yig is the guy you're gonna challenge on that. Uh, no, they had an actual full-on TDM. Yeah, but I, I think it is it is rather um what's the word? Why is there a chopper here? Yeah, 
final one five one patch? No, yeah, that was the final one. I think it's rather naive that they that they did not attempt to capture some of the COD audience by changing the game in certain ways, it's adding certain maps and certain types the way of they, game modes. Like it's kind of naive thinking that people that play the way they do is one, one type of game. Like, oh, you want to shoot mans and not really mess with vehicles? Well, you only play Call of Duty and Counter Strike. Right? Like, uh, they don't care if they're catered to not. They're going to pick their favorite game and play it the way they want. Even yeah, if well, they're just like the Wookiees who don't fucking. Right, but what we are saying is that Battlefield, at one point in time, was designed a certain way. And certain people did play it in a way that they wanted, as you're saying, but more and more, DICE has designed the game with that audience in mind. The Atari audience has shifted, is what we're saying. Well, that's well, I, yeah, because Battlefield that. is very expensive to make, and there's a huge majority of people, even who were there from the start of Battlefield that wanted that kind of stuff. Even if they were, like, really into the classic Battlefield game type. Yeah, somebody take care of that. But it's, it's, not like that if a guy, it, it's not like if I really like Domination and PDM in Battlefield, that I can't also enjoy Conquest Large. Never mind the idiot flew over our spawn. I'm using myself as an example. Are you just use an example? Well, yeah, but I do agree with Haggard. I mean, this, we're, we're making fun of the guy who basically only plays TDM with the Scar H, and... I mean, that guy is... That guy's annoying. Because we've had him, like, the one or two times that we've played TDM, we've always ended up with that guy against us. Makes me want to like play with him and do nothing but knife him. Um, I think we actually pistoled him. <laughs> like our entire squad switched to pistols and just sat there relentlessly gunning the entire other team down with pistols. QBZ ninety five one is a terrible, terrible, terrible... Is which which class? That's the assault rifle, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want it. You don't like it. You won't like it. It's terrible. <laughs> it's fucking awful. I have 59 kills with it. You know how the SAR-21 fires really slow, but it's fucking, like, laser accurate? Yeah. This fires really slow, and is missing the laser accurate part. Well, that's okay. That's sadness. Oh, I gotta get out of this center area. I have five more salt rifles right to go. Uh, which ones have you got done? Or which ones do you have to go since it's a smaller list? Og 9, M16A4, CZ805. AR-160 and the QBZ-951. Yeah, some of those are pretty good. I kind of just want to play with a Kamas, though. I, I feel like I can't go anywhere on this map without just getting immediately fucking killed. I wish Did I you could get it. you get team balance? What's BQ? There is an enemy snowmobile here. With nobody in it. Uh, maybe? Yes. Come join the dark side. I really wish this was like a uh, black light where I could just buy a fucking 200 round magazine for a promise. Please come join the dark side. Me and Victor are here. There's cake. If I could pay Dice five what bucks and get a 200 round mag for a promise, yeah, I would do it. I'll make you squid. Bravo Squid for Goons on US. You know what game did Team Deathmatch really well? Blacklight Retribution. Yeah, it did. You know what? I actually enjoy Blacklight way more than I enjoy COD. 
Vector, if you want to join, now's, now's the chance. One spot left. Yeah, switch teams and we have no points. Yeah. Blacklight was in such a great game until they introduced private servers. I am on your left, Haggard, and... I got about half life on the transport chopper. Come on, let's go. I missed Blacklight. I hope the uh, hard suit uh, labs and whatever it's all now fixes it up. Hey, I need a mechanic. Oh, fuck that fucking driver. Do you, uh, yeah, did you hear zombie when I have business? Yeah, they got bought out by Perfect World, and now, like, everything is, like, ten times more expensive than it was before. No, 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 that's that's not what happened at all. Like, um, they, they broke away Apparently from- Apparently all the bad changes that were made to Blacklight Retribution were, was due to Zombie Studios and not Perfect World. Like, removing the, uh, one-day rental and the permanent buy on the console versions. Yeah, they actually broke away from Perfect that was, World. That was Zombie Studios doing, not Perfect World. Perfect World was apparently fighting against the more, like, aggressive microtransactions. I, I can understand that. That would make sense, because a lot of the guys in Perfect World were kind of... Uh, they expressed displeasure with how their management was treating things. So do you think maybe it wasn't doing so well? Well, that's the weird part. They were doing really well with their monetization, and everybody pointed at them as like, this is how you do it. And suddenly they just fucking started getting rid of all the stuff that people were like saying was awesome and how you want to do things. I believe Zombie Studios yeah, what I'm saying. just full of assholes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying is that Zombie Studios ruined the game, not Perfect World. Perfect World actually was the ones that implemented the cool stuff that everyone liked about the game. And it's fun. Get eyes on an enemy tank. There's a tank over here somewhere. Yeah, but uh, Perfect enemy World never bought Zombie body. Studios. How did they get Blackout? No, they, oh, they, just just pub they just published. Yeah, okay, they were published. so they published were... and then when... Okay, that makes more sense now. I only got like half the story from a buddy of mine that works there, that worked at Perfect World, and, and that was like a really disjointed half because he couldn't talk about some stuff. And what's really interesting about Perfect World and the, and the Blacklight thing is Perfect World got blamed for everything that went wrong because I mean Perfect World's kind of a shitty company, like they do a lot of bad stuff. Um, but yeah, it turned out Zombie Studios was just run by a bunch of dumbasses. Blacklight Tango down. Yeah, actually, uh, what's interesting is all the best maps that were in the original Blacklight release were made by this one guy. And, yeah. And uh, after a while, he was like, fuck this company, I'm out, and, like, just left. Yeah, Every he, map he that did, came out with after that was just ass. He did their deal. He did the, uh, their machina. He used to work for Machinima. He was a FPS, uh, basically, like, montage editor for Machinima before he went to Blacklight. So he knew maps, like, back and forth. That's the yeah, guy I actually he made some fucking knew. great maps. And he, he just, I mean, if you wanted to talk about fucking maps, he'd sit there and talk all day about how Counter-Strike maps are completely ass, unless you have a gameplay that is so slow, and why they're not good maps for, like, Battlefield or COD and stuff like that, whereas a lot of people are like, oh, we need our own version of D-Dust. I think when people say they want their own version of D-Dust, they just want, like, the best map that the game could have that can be played for years and years and years and still feel but fresh and having fun laser guys bombing the shit out of everything. 
Yeah, that's a PC FPS players are especially spurgy. I think D Dust isn't a great map except for the area around the B bomb point with that through a hallway with the two doors and like the underground part. Yeah. That little area is so good. Like that is such a well designed area. Everyone else in that map is just total ass and just completely arbitrary. I will always say snipers and DMRs ruin FPS games. Why are there easy DMRs kills? Uh, no, Counter Strike had DMRs and Battlefield, or not, uh, uh, Call of Duty had it. Good auto sniper yeah. noob. The fucking auto sniper noob. They call them auto snipers. No, it's just that sniping and the balance of snipers is just this zero sum game. The sniper either gets a kill or he doesn't. And half the time the guy he's killing doesn't have any way to, you know, fight. Yeah, on It's like you round the corner and he's been scoping at that corner the whole time. What's and that's why he's getting killed by you round the corner. And there's no counterplay to that. Well, it's like if they had fucking spot drones. The jet, spot the jet, spot the jet. If they had fucking Predator drones in Battlefield 4, it would suck. Because Battlefield you know, 4 and games are supposed to be about balance and fairness, whereas like most military exactly. tactics are about re removing all advantage of your opponent. So like sniping, for example, is I'm gonna be half a mile away and just kill all your dudes, and you have no retaliation for it. But that's not fun in a video game. Yes, it is. Well, not if you're not in the, the receiver game in the vet. Not if you're not the sniper. Yeah, because it's like you're playing Battlefield 4 and then you got sniped halfway across the map. Like, what could have you? What could have you done? There was nothing you could have done. And that's not that's not fair gameplay. That's not interesting. An FPS, a multiplayer FPS game has to be balanced in such a way where. Dying is almost as fun as killing. Man, but yeah, that that dude, if you ever talk to him again, be like, yeah, those maps. Oh yeah, I'll talk to him again. He's, uh, right now he's, got, he's looking at a new job, his current job he didn't like because he ended up on a company that was like, oh, we're going to make an FPS, and then decided to make a fucking MMO. <laughs> That's a nice shift. Think of when you think FPS is MMO. How many people have tried that at this point? Well, um... Too fucking many, I'll tell you that. I, I'm oh, starting to feel damn. like Battlefield 4 is an MMO. So much fucking grinding. I spent all this time sitting on the helipad waiting for the helicopter and inspired a straw to tank while I was waiting and the helicopter showed up and I blew it and panned myself up. <laughs> <laughs> fucking good job, dude. Holy shit, the Oxcepter damages fucking helicopters? Did the, is that what just made that drop? Yes, Spot the jetties on my ass and come take him over our spawn. Oh man, I lost the uh, snowmobile in the water. But yeah, man, now I want to go play Blacklight because, like, you know, he's gonna keep it as a fond memory. Did you did you play any of the maps that they added after that dude left? Yeah, they were all pretty fucking terrible. They tried to bring in like. There was one really bad one that they tried to bring over from Tango Down. Although, their zombie mode was fucking fun as shit. It was pretty good. It How was alright. Uh, the game was had already lost like over 50% of its user base. Yeah. No, they were up for a good couple years before they went down like that. I mean, they... Oh, uh, about two and a half years to make the zombie mode. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty bad. But yeah, they, they tried to bring over a Tango Down multiplayer map, and uh, it didn't work. It, like, didn't work with, for some reason, like, I don't even know how they brought it over. Um, but apparently it was buggy as hell. And, not like, only you was it buggy fall as fuck, the because they tried to do a direct import of the map. That's what is, it is, yeah. yeah. Uh, which, I mean, with Battlefield, that's a little easier, because you have engine similarities, but no, they didn't even have engine similarities. 
But the biggest problem with it was it was designed around Tango Down, and Tango Down had, like, really inaccurate weapons. Like, super fucking inaccurate. Tango Down was such a shitty game. I bought it for a dollar. Yes, it did. And it still wasn't worth it. I installed it, played it for like two minutes, and I was like, yeah, no, I installed it. I think I got Tango Down this on sale for like two bucks or two cents. I consider it worth it because the co-op was pretty fun. Even if it was sort of bot it was The co-op in the first game was sort of like a zombie mode. You fought mostly dudes with melee weapons and a few people with guns. But yeah, I, I do find it horribly ironic and sad that, that Blacklight was, you know, among the experts and talking heads, was the idealized, like, this is how you do it, microtransaction system like you mentioned, and it, the company just hated it and wanted to destroy it and, like, get rid of it. It's like, you're getting all this industry praise. Fuck it, Holy it's awful. fuck, that tank is impossible to aim. With the love yeah, it was so weird because the they love were uh, it, like MMO wise, the, everybody points at uh, Dungeons and Dragons Online as like the gold standard, god, and then FPS wise, everybody was like, "Oh my god, the fucking Dungeons and Dragons!" Oh man, oh, man. yeah, but its DLC model matched exactly to its paper and pencil deal, oh. so nobody minded. What? How did what? Wait, what, was it Dungeons and Dragons pretty much like? Uh, I'm not anti-tank soldier, you, me, you bought adventure packs. Like, oh. uh, Lord of the Rings. Where you guys need help with D? It's kind of weird because it was basically they gave you a big free trial and then sold expansions. Yeah, they pretty much. In more bite-sized chunks at reduced prices. But it was basically an almost traditional MMO model. They just called it free to play. Yeah. Yeah, they called it free to play. It was it was probably 90% traditional MMO. Gotcha. I really didn't like DDO. Like it's, I tried playing it multiple times. I didn't it like the fun. game, but it's... I didn't have uh, anyone to play with. It's, it's, um... It's DLC map really was that good of an idea. Because the know. idea is you, you have the whole base game, but is all you have to do is just buy the add-ons so they so every couple months they release new content and you pay five or fifteen bucks for it for that i'm in a bit of a pickle at e if any of y'all are around i guess that could have worked when you're at level 20 but getting to level 20 was just such a slog and you didn't want to buy any expansions spot that jet please you didn't know like oh i may buy the sewer dungeon and you know run it once and then never again like, so just they needed to do something with the one to twenty they needed to let you just buy a level 20 character. Well, that and their, their, the one thing I did have a complaint about was that uh, a lot of the stuff didn't scale as well as it should. So if you were a, you know, if you were a fantasy poor and didn't buy all the expansions, you kind of got, you kind of got fucked a little bit because you only had so much content within each level range. Yeah, that and the fucking bank limitations and stuff. Yeah, the bank limitations were really fucking stupid. I'm not gonna lie on that one. Oh, and there was the House limitations too. I mean, it could have been worse. I played other games that were really bad in the microtransaction stuff, but uh, I don't know. I don't think anyone's done it correctly. I do like the idea of I didn't of the stop DNDL it other than it looking at me in front of you. Oh, tank he gives me help with. I, spotted hostile, LAV. I think we need help with all the points. Objective Fox Trot is out of control. How about that? Can I help at all? We should check out the trade that was on Delta, I think. 
Because laser guided bombs are the shit. They're on the uh, yeah. roof of A. Yeah, we tried. Or are they? I'd say we tried, right? I think the best current free-to-play model I've seen is probably Warframe or War Thunder. I'm assuming we're not counting models that are basically big free trial and expansion packs, right? Under free-to-play. Yeah, no, I, I kind of kicked those off the list. Like, things like um, uh, The Lord of the Rings Online and shit like that. It, was des it wasn't it was designed to be a free-to-play game. Yeah, hey, guys. Like guys, want to hear a joke? Want to hear a joke, guys? Sure. Loadout. Loadout. What? That game Never was played. so fucking fun. Wait, what? It, it died. Designed not to be at 